Uh, as it turns out, Venezuela, which was formerly the richest country in South America in terms of its resources, certainly, probably the second biggest oil reserves in the world, uh, people are now breaking into zoos and eating the animals there. They're, they are, they are, they are, Grant, the average Venezuelan, my understanding, is 17 pounds lighter. 17 pounds. These people are not exactly roly-poly to begin with. 17 pounds lighter since um, the institution of uh, socialist policies under Hugo Chavez. And my big outstanding question is, how many failures of this system do we have to have before these people in Harvard uh, faculty lounges stop teaching it to our kids? Well, when you think about what's going on in a country like Venezuela, and then you see the likes of Bernie Sanders and, and the academics mm -hmm. like you, you talk about pushing this whole idea that socialism works. I mean, bread lines are back in action. And, and I think some of these socialists in the United States have said, oh, well, bread lines are a good thing. They are not. One of the things you find out about this, these big socialist re revolutions that are all about the people, you know, all about the workers, is that the people who are leading them uh, don't go back to their lives of obscurity. Lenin and Trotsky and all those guys were just intellectuals, sat around, Lenin certainly sat around in coffee shops in Switzerland and Paris discussing theory until he took over the country and started murdering people. But I think of all the stories that are the most telling to me is the previous example in, in um, large-scale scale, large scale state socialism, that was Cuba. You know, uh, the, the left has lionized Fidel Castro for 50, 60 years now, something like that. He's always their hero because he dresses in very simple green tunic, you know, Grant, and, and he keeps his commander's cap and he has a cigar, and he hasn't let uh, the, uh, the power and everything go to his head. He's still a simple man of the people. Well, Castro died recently, and his net worth at the time of his death, I think, was $650 million. Man of the people. That's what he had in his bank account, his bank account, not Cuba's bank account, his bank account, while his people were starving and driving, you know, 53 Studebakers because they couldn't get anything newer.